session is called The Hecklers, and um, it's very much kind of, it's almost like two exhibitions um, kind of mashed into one in a way. Um, so there's this, there's the one, there's the one theme running through the show, which is a kind of artist who've got a bit of a, or a kind of sense of political engagement in their practice, um, and where um, kind of everyday politics and their life kind of merge into one. And the other side of the exhibition is um, a kind of return to primitivism, or artists got an interest in, in um, you know, making objects, and um, maybe a little bit of a kind of um, reassessing of those kind of modernist tendencies. So those are the overall themes. The exhibition is called uh, The Hecklers, and so I, I liked that title, Heckler, or The Hecklers, liked the word Heckler. Um, you know, it's got a bit of a sense of troublemaker. It seems a bit of a kind of archaic word, old-fashioned, slightly out of usage um, word. So, um, and in a way, I think that that really sums up the idea of the, of, the, of the exhibition and the artist in it. In a way, I think I see every artist in the show as a little bit of a heckler, a little bit of a troublemaker, someone kind of you know, in, in a kind of friendly, playful way, like throwing, you know, pebbles in, in the, in, into, the, into the mainstream culture or whatever, however you'd like to look at it. So um, that idea of the hecklers is very important to the whole project. So if, I think when people walk around the show, if they think about this idea of hecklers or troublemakers or the artist as, as, as kind of playful troublemaker, um, I think that's really important. I think overall the whole exhibition is going to have... Um, you know, a very kind of bombastic feel. It's going to be a really um, crowded, loud exhibition with things, um, with, with very, you know, very kind of um, uh, maximal, maximal images, lots of, lots of different images, um, lots of different uh, sources of reference points, um, you know, computer graphics, tribal imagery, um, politics, finance, um, uh, you know, riots, every, everything, all these different things which are happening in the world now, um, and also even in the past, kind of um, lo lots of these different themes and stuff like that, hopefully you'll see when you walk around the exhibition. Um, but I hopefully overall kind of encased in this idea of heckler or, or, or um, everyday politics or um, uh, kind of, the, like I say, this kind of return to primitivism. Well, the artwork took off from looking at a mosaic, a Roman imperial floor, a mosaic, and what I've done is I've, I've turned it into a kind of machine and a kind of map or a piece of work that describes the industrialization of the world and, uh, and the litter and storm of... Uh, media that we, we live in at the same time. Okay, um, so my piece is called um, Your Eyes Are Dead. Um, it's a piece about hip-hop culture um, and looking at um, uh, a road in, in particular, an expressway in the, uh, the Bronx, South Bronx, um, which cut through the South Bronx. It's quite a, a famous road. Um, caused a lot of uh, controversy at the time and um, became a kind of symbol of um, uh, neglect. Hip-hop started, well, basically um, thrived in this kind of abandoned zone um, that the South Bronx was. And again, this piece um, references the, the architect Robert Moses, or the builder rather, Robert Moses, who, who built this, this huge road. And he becomes a kind of um, devil figure or like God devil figure. It's like a, a form of over identification that, that he kind of provides the backdrop to hip hop culture. Um, and yeah, the piece again involves this. We've got um, a cut up lino here uh, that's been used in previous feral b-boy workshops, we call them, um, where we just set them up on the street. And again, we're also referencing uh, Ramel Z, who's a uh, a cult um, rapper from the 80s. He becomes, um, in, in later life, an amazing performance artist, making these um, uh, incredible um, suits out of junk from the street. So again, it's, it's, again, it's uh, that part of hip hop, which is sampling and collaging, um, just using the, the, what's left behind and, and, and re reconfiguring it into a, um, a new form of, of hip hop, of culture, um, subculture. So hopefully when you walk into the exhibition, the first piece you'll see is the piece by Sean Doyle and Mally Mallinson, which is the kind of all-encompassing room, um, which is a kind of 
cave and um, crazy bed sit um, with, with mad sculptures made of dog bones and things like that. And that very, that very much, again, hopefully sets the tone for the whole exhibition. Um, and then, um, you know, I think uh, hopefully there'll be loads of, loads of great large scale pieces in the show, but there's also going to be some kind of small, small pieces dotted around the space as well. So some kind of quite delicate watercolour works on paper by the artist Andrew Gilbert, um, uh, whose work, again, deals a lot with kind of um, primitivism and um, uh, kind of battle scenes from the past. Um, and, then, and then there are kind of, uh, there are kind of um, some, again, more subtle uh, abstract paintings by the artist um, Vicky Wright, who kind of just kind of more like suggests this idea of, of um, primitivism and um, like a slight fear or anxiety, but also done in very um, kind of muted tones. So it's a little bit more subtle than some of the other things. And then there's a great video by... Um, Ruth Ewan, which kind of, you know, needs to be watched and again, um, looks at the kind of um, political dimensions of um, folk songs. Um, and also it's important to say that the actual Edgbaston title comes from a previous show which Ruth Ewan organised in Dundee, um, uh, which also referenced the word hecklers, so we're kind of very much in debt to Ruth as well. Okay.